yup, yup, yup. Welcome to my channel. Guess who's back in the building? Uh, hey, sexy. Hi, sexy. So All right. Ooh, we're going to make some malmule. All right, we're gonna make some marmalade. In case you guys don't know, that's like a cornmeal that's kind of sort of like a rice that tastes so good. It's my favorite, my favorite. All right, so, all right, mama, so what we got in this water here? Mama, a piece. People do it, the marmalade. Okay. I put some coconut oil in it. Coconut oil? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I put some spices. Some spices in there, depending on what you want. Like, what kind of spices did you put in there? Uh, garlic. Garlic. Uh, celery. Celery. Haitian spices. Like what, mommy? Salt, pepper. A piece. Let me take a piece. Let me take a piece. Did you put any Maggie's in there? Yes. Did you put Maggie cubes in there? How much water did you put in here? I put that she doesn't measure water, but I'm going to say this is about four cups of water. It looks like so. Alright, so right now, mommy's washing the marmalade. Always wash your starch before you put it into the water. Always wash your starch. What kind of water are you using? Hot water, cold water? I use warm water. Warm water. Alright, so mommy's about to take that. Give it a little goutte to see if it has enough spicy in there. It's just a quoi. It's just a quoi. Okay. <laughs> so she's going to do old school. I use a spoon. I can't do this, folks. I ain't going to lie. That heat comes up and splashes me. I'm done. So I always use a spoon. My mommy's old school Haitian. She's been cooking since she was three years old. So <laughs> none of this burns. This don't burn her. It don't burn her. Excuse me for all the noise in the background. Everybody's talking, kids, dad, everybody. So it is what it is. All right. So you put your what's this? It's like cornmeal, uh, mamulin. Put it into the water. When when the kids gonna eat? What is gonna eat? Say hi, dad. Say hi, dad. Hi, dad. Do a video. Hi, Dad. <laughs> 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 <That's a nigga> for <laughs> real. <laughs> Stuff like that. Now the temperature on this is on high. High, 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 high. Please be very careful with this because if ever you get this on your skin, whoo! Show! Sure. I got show! Sure. You dead. Like my mom just said, you dead, dead. <laughs> That thing will burn so hot. That thing will burn so bad you never want to cook ever again in your life. <clears throat> Alright, let's just uncover this, but please be careful because Lord Jesus. Right. It's rumbling, it's rumbling. Yes, ma. Hold on, I'm gonna tell you right now. Alright, so this is what it's looking like after we put it on high heat. For about, I want to say, it wasn't even more than four or five minutes. Four to five minutes. And then I put it on low. And then my mom came back and she just um, mixed this up a little bit so it's not sticking to the bottom. Oh, yeah, this is what it's looking like. It's not done yet. You got to let it, you know what I'm saying? Just like rice, you got to let it simmer down, cook all the way. Because this cornmeal is actually a lot thicker than um, a regular cornmeal. Like, you know, they, there's grains to it, there's levels to it. You have the really, really thin ones, but these ones are a little bit thick, so you're probably gonna have to let this simmer for another, I wanna say 20 minutes. Yeah, yeah. we'll see. <laughs> yeah, see, I know a little something, something. I know a little something, something. All right, so please forgive all the noise in the background. The kids are acting like what they acting like whenever they're at grandparents' house. So, you know how that go. Yep. I'm gonna come back when this is practically done and show you what it looks like. Oh, mom, you okay? Look at the knees. I 
I'm gonna come back and show you what this looks like when it's done, and then we'll go from there. All right. Okay, you gotta do what? I have to beat it up just for it to be thick. You see how she's holding that pot? I told you since she was three, yo. <laughs> Let me get a better view right here. Cause I couldn't even do that for that long. Where is the uh, pot holders, okay? That's that new chef chef. And the glute. Is it good? Mm -hmm. A few minutes, everything is done. You see the way it looks when you beat it up? Yeah. Thick. You gotta beat, 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 beat it up. Beat, 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 beat it up. Mm, beat, 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 beat it up. Beat, 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 beat it up. And in a few minutes, it'll be cooked. <laughs> Alright, so pay no attention to the plastic plate, but this is what my mom Moulin is giving. Now, mind you, when you set up your plate, so it's probably supposed to go on the side right here, okay? I, I, I'm just, this is just my plate. I'm not serving nobody, so the sauce pot is right here. This right here is, this is dumplings, and then my mom made some grilled fish. So, this is what, how I'm eating my food. Don't judge me. Anybody who's Haitian, don't judge me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Don't come for me. Don't come for me. This is just my plate. I'm not serving nobody. This is how it's going to look. You know what I mean? But, uh, yeah, if you like what you see in this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. So every time my mom comes into town, I know to make some more Haitian traditional dishes. All right, latest.